one, go! We're off with qual match. Hopefully lucky 13 for at least three of these teams on the field. Red Alliance scoring two cubes up top, one cube in the middle, and Cyber Blue is engaged on the Red Alliance charge station. Nearly the same situation over on Blue, but instead they got three game pieces scored in the top nodes. That's going to lead the Blue Alliance with a slight advantage, 39 to 37, coming into Teleop. 1501 ranked pretty highly, is headed over to help the Blue Alliance. They're looking to grab a cone from their single human player substation. Their partner, Red Alert, rocketing across the charge station, extending out with their claw to place a cube on a mid node. They've got it scored. That's going to be three points for the Blue Alliance. That's adding to their advantage. We've got a minute and a half left. Blue leading by eight points. Red Alliance working hard to catch up. 234, that's Cyber Blue, looking to snatch a cone from their human player double substation. Meanwhile, their partner, Tinley Trailblazers, lining up and able to score a cube on a mid node for the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, their partner, 9999, Cranberry Alarm, has a cube in their possession. They're lining up with their partners, 234, to score hopefully one, maybe two game pieces for Red. Blue Alliance is leading by 20 points with 55 seconds remaining in the match. Blue has one link. Because each alliance has scored at least three game pieces in the cooperation grid, the threshold for the sustainability bonus has been lowered. Now each alliance only needs to get four links in order to get their sustainability bonus ranking point. 234 lifting up and scoring a cone. That's going to get the Red Alliance their second link during this match. 30 seconds remaining, Cyber Blue lining up and nearly engaged on the Red Alliance charge station. Their partner, Tinley Trailblazers, coming up to join them. Meanwhile, Red Alert scored a cube, and now, ooh, looks like they're a little tippy, maybe stuck on the Blue Alliance charge station with 10 seconds remaining. This is a tight match. This end game really matters. Five seconds left. We have two robots engaged on Red, none on Blue. Just as time runs out, we'll see what that impact of the end game is in our final score. We have our results for our last qual match, and it's going to red. They won with a score of 96 to the Blue Alliance's 71. That's going to move up all of the Red Alliance teams, except for 6721, who's sitting pretty in the number one position. Congratulations to our three winning Red Alliance teams.